Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to fix miscrossed cables. We have some cables here that are uh, right crosses, cables crossing to the right, but up here they're crossing to the left. These are a mistake. And we've worked across and purled back so it's actually we're going to have to drop down two rows to fix them. Rather than ripping back Let's say this was a sweater and you had a couple hundred stitches going. We're not going to rip back a couple hundred stitches to get to these cable crossings. What we're going to do is work over to the actual cable itself, drop down just those stitches, fix it, and work it back up. I'm going to show two different methods. One with using extra knitting needles, or you could use a crochet hook. I'm going to do it with knitting needles and a cable needle. And the other one I'm going to show with just using the needles that you're working with, nothing extra. So you can try it either way. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is slip the stitches over, some of the stitches over to the right needle so that we can get to the cable itself. Here's the cable. We're going to pull it off and we're going to pull both of these needles through a little bit so that our stitches don't ac accidentally fall off. So here we have the cable released. So we need to take out those two rows. What we're going to do is I, I have this little Susan Bates handy tool I use a lot. I just love this. We're going to find the strand and pull out one row. So we've released four stitches. That's the first, the top row. We need to do one more row because they're still crossed. So we're going to find the strand, here it is right here, and pull that one out too. That's the second strand. Now the stitches are released and they can fall back into their previous order of being uncrossed. We can pick these up. This is a spare needle. I'm using a, a double pointed needle. It is more convenient. I'm going to pick these up and get them back on this needle. There we go. Now we want these two stitches to cross in front of these two stitches, correct? So if you were using a cable needle you would put these two stitches on a cable needle and put them to the back, which is what we're going to do. At the same time, we want to keep track of these strands here. We've got the top one and the second one. We're going to work with the second one first. So we're going to slide this over and we're going to put these two stitches onto a cable needle. I'm using my Susan Bates Handy Tool, but it can be anything really that holds the stitches separate. And they're going to go behind. And these stitches will be coming in front. So these are the two that are going to be worked next, one, two, and then three, four. And we're going to be using this yarn. So we're going to pull this yarn over to the front. Now if you're a continental knitter, I'm tensioning it with this finger. If you're a thrower, you can tension it over here, it doesn't matter. But we're going to knit these two stitches off this needle right now. So we're just going to knit one, two, and then we're going to slide that cable needle, those stitches onto the other knitting needle. If it were a true cable needle you could just knit off of it, but I've got a crochet hook on that end so that won't work. So we're just going to slip them back over to here. And we're going to knit these two stitches off this needle with that same yarn. Now oftentimes when you re-knit a piece like this you'll end up with a little extra yarn. It just happens that way. It will absorb back into the work. Don't worry about it. Now we have those four stitches and the cable is crossing over to the right the way we want it. So we need to finish off by 
working that second strand. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can just knit across this needle again if you want to. Or we can just slip these stitches with the yarn in the back over to the primary knitting needle. Pull this one back into and we're going to just knit those four stitches. Make it a little tight, that's okay. You'll get it. Just make sure you have all your stitches in the correct stitch mount. Now we've fixed that cable. Do you see that? It's going in the correct direction. Now we're going to go over to this one. I'm going to show how to do the same thing, only without using the extra needles. Because I find myself in situations often where this will happen to me, and I don't have my extra needles with me. Like I might be sitting in an airport or somewhere like that where I don't have my notions bag with me. I just have my knitting needles and my yarn. So I'm going to pull these four stitches off again. And we're just going to pull those extra two yarns out to release the stitches out of the cable crossing. So now we've got them back to their primary position. We'll pick them up again in their proper order, proper stitch mount. I'm using my right needle just because my right hand is better at that. You could use your left needle, it doesn't matter. It does not have to be done with the right needle. Now we've got them all back on our primary knitting needle, and I'm going to use the cableless crossing method that I use all the time. I, this is my favorite way of crossing cables. For a right cross I put my right hand needle into the left two stitches, pull the right two off the left needle and put it back in, then bring these two stitches back and put them back on. Now I have them in the sequence that they need to be for knitting. Now the next thing is we have to figure out which strand, this is the top one, so we want this one, and we're going to just knit across those four stitches with this strand. I find this much less fiddly than using extra needles and cable needles and whatnot. This works really good for me. Then slip these four stitches back over to the left and knit them one more time with this strand. The most important thing is to get the correct strand. If you get the wrong one, you'll end up taking it out and having to do it again, which happens to me sometimes. If you get some extra yarn in here, I'm doing this one reverse, but I'll fix the stitch mount here. Now when you slip these over to your cable needle, I mean the cable of the needle, and we're going to reduce this back down to you can see they look good and if you end up having some extra yarn just wiggle it around it'll get absorbed there we have corrected cable crossings if you like my videos be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel i would love it if you would share them with your friends i'm all about technical knitting I love to knit. It's my favorite thing to do, and I love to share it with my friends and my videos, viewers on YouTube. I have groups on Facebook and Ravelry. There's links to those groups down in the description of this video. Feel free to join those groups and join in the discussion. Happy knitting, and see you next time.